The Sahara is the largest hot desert in the world, with an average temperature of 30 degrees. Daily temperatures can rise to well over 50 degrees Celsius and can drop considerably at night, making this one of the most inhospitable places on the planet. The Sahara Desert is considered a hyper-arid environment and only receives one inch of rainfall per year. Little can survive here except for a few succulents that are able to hold water. There are also some birds, mammals and reptiles living in these harsh conditions. However, they struggle to survive due to long periods of extreme drought. Only a few thousand years ago, the Sahara Desert is said to have been a lot wetter. Scientists have claimed it was a lush tropical forest full of biodiversity which began to decline as the climate became a lot drier. Scientists suggest that this was caused by the tilt of the Earth's axis, combined with intensive agriculture and hunting on these very fertile plains. The result has caused huge land loss for supporting human life and natural biodiversity. The Sahara Desert spans across nearly all of North Africa. It measures approximately 9.2 million kilometers squared, covers 8% of the world's land mass, and is comparable to China or the USA in size. The Sahara is bordered in the west by the Atlantic Ocean, in the north by the Atlantis Mountains and the Mediterranean Sea, in the east by the Red Sea, and in the south by the Sahel. The Sahel forms a transitional zone between the Sahara to the north and a belt of humid savannas to the south. In the semi-arid region of the Sahel, the advancement of the Sahara Desert continues to be a threat due to unsustainable land management, overgrazing and droughts. These transitional zones between the desert and the semi-arid environments are fragile ecosystems, which people depend upon for survival. It is in these zones the advancement of the desert needs to be stopped and reversed. The country of Burkina Faso in the African Sahara region has been making some astonishing agricultural developments, turning large areas suffering from desertification into agricultural farms. In Burkina Faso, tens of thousands of hectares of land been restored with over 20 million people benefiting from the improved use of land. This transformation could be called a major accomplishment for a country that only receives an average of 23 inches of rainfall a year, which continues to be sporadic and declining. In today's video, we're going to tell you how and why Burkina Faso is turning its deserts into huge farmlands. So stick with us and let's dive into today's video. Burkina Faso is a landlocked country in the Sahel region. One third of its landscape is degraded, and over 9 million hectares of land that were once used for agriculture cannot be used anymore. It is projected that degradation will continue to expand at 360,000 hectares per year. If the situation is not reversed, existing forests are also at risk of being cleared to make way for productive agricultural land. Burkina's economy is based mainly on agriculture, which provides for livelihoods for 80% of the population. Their lives have been impacted by degraded soils the current droughts, deforestation, and desertification. Over the past four decades, Burkina has experienced frequent extremes of climate. The drought in the 1970s caused a serious famine, which cost numerous lives and major livestock losses. Over the decades, Burkina's desert areas have been spreading in a process known as desertification. However, one African man, who is known as the man who stopped the desert, went against all the odds and started to transform the desert into a lush forest and productive agricultural land by using a simple and low-cost traditional technique which had almost been completely forgotten. At first he was considered a madman by his community, but now his method has been used throughout the Sahara region. The special technique has been modernized and revolutionized using new technology that is transforming millions of people's lives and making the desert green again. Yakuba Saudogo is an indigenous African farmer who lives in the region of northern Burkina Faso, which was most affected by the famine of the 1970s and 80s. Whilst many people from his community decided to migrate due to the crisis, Yakuba decided to take it upon himself to stop the desert. Without any modern machinery or monetary funding, Yakuba revitalized the ancient farming technique called Zai, which led to forest growth and increased soil quality. In the beginning, the people from his community were very skeptical. However, Yakuba kept on working on his 40 hectare piece of abandoned and barren land. He planted many types of trees and bushes, which have now become a rich biodiverse forest of 60 species of trees that provides fruits and nuts for his family and the wildlife that live there. Yakuba's forest is considered to be the most diverse forest planted and managed by any farmer in the Sahal. 
and scientists have claimed that his work has done much more than any national or international research combined. The Zai method quickly began to spread because of its incredible results. It is a simple and low cost method involving using a shovel or axe to break up the ground and dig small holes that are half moon shape, which are then filled with compost and planted with seeds of trees or local grains such as millet or sorghum. The holes or pits create contours which catch water during the rainy season and stop rainwater runoff, thereby improving water infiltration, keeping the soil moist for longer. This creates favorable microclimate conditions, allowing for seedlings to flourish. Yakuba is always eager to share this ancient knowledge and has trained thousands of visitors from his region and beyond, empowering farmers to regenerate their land. As a result, tens of thousands of hectares of degraded land have been restored to productivity in Burkina Faso, helping over 20 million people. And with the help of new technological advancements, they have been able to accelerate this technique, which does require a lot of manual labor. A machine has been invented and created called the Delfino Plow, which creates large half moon catchments ready for planting seeds, boosting rainwater harvesting tenfold and making soil more permeable for planting than the traditional and backbreaking method of digging by hand, especially at scale. Once an area is ploughed, the seeds of woody and herbaceous native species are then sown directly. These species are very resilient and work well in degraded land, providing vegetation cover and improving productivity of previously barren areas. The Delfino plough is also extremely efficient, covering 50 to 20 hectares in a day, compared to 100 farmers digging half moon irrigation ditches by hand who can cover only a hectare a day. By adapting the Zai technique, the people of Burkina Faso have become more food secure, and by planting trees and food crops together, they are enriching the soil, saving it from degradation. This type of agriculture has been termed syntropic farming, which is a natural process in creating agroecosystems, also known as food forests, which in the long term are more sustainable for rising human populations across the world. By creating a biodiverse ecosystem of trees and bushes that hold the soil together and store water for longer within it, we attract beneficial insects and reduce pests. We also solve the issues surrounding the ever-changing climate, water resource management, desertification, famine and poverty. Instead of felling trees for large monoculture farms where soil is degraded over time from overtilling and pesticide use, which increases desertification, wastes water and increases famine and poverty in the long run. Thanks to Yukuba bringing back the traditional method of Zai, a national low-cost way to increase biodiversity which is almost completely forgotten, the people of Burkina Faso have been able to transform their lives for the better. This method has now spread to neighboring countries, benefiting millions of people who live around the Sahara Desert, one of the most harshest environments in the world. Thanks for watching Leaf of Life. If you found the video informative, make sure to tap the like button. If you want to stay up to date on our next Regreening the Desert videos, make sure to subscribe with the notification bell on. Leaf of Life is a very small team dedicated to raising awareness about regenerative projects from all over the world. If you'd like to support what we do, we have more information in the description.